Hi guys, this video is the second part of my first video on YouTube about replacing spark plugs. To tell you the truth, I am a bit late with this video, but you know, better late than never. So let's start. First of all, we have to unplug the connectors of the ignition coils, as long as they are firmly secured with bolts on their places. I make use of a long screwdriver for this purpose. If necessary, you can help with your left hand or another screwdriver from below the intake manifold, I mean from behind the engine. In the top left corner of the screen you can see a scheme of the engine so that you could know which cylinder I am working on, to avoid misunderstanding, because the backside cylinders on X-Type are officially numbered as the first, the third and the fifth, but sometimes they are referred to as the first, the second and the third. Here I want to tell you that attentive viewers can notice something wrong in this video, a kind of secret. If you notice it, please write about it in the comments. You see, it's quite tricky to unplug the connector from the ignition coil of the first cylinder. To save your time, I accelerated the moments of unscrewing all the bolts and spark plugs and for the next video, if you prefer to have them cut off, just write about it in the comments. To get access to the bolts securing ignition coils of the 3rd uh, and 5th cylinders, you have to use a small ratchet, two extensions with a joint and an 8mm socket. It's better to remove the bolts with a magnet, but if you haven't got one, you can do it with your hand as well. Ignition coils can be easily removed from their places. You just have to turn them around the vertical center line when pulling them through the intake manifold holes. Unscrewing the ignition coil on the third cylinder is much the same as unscrewing the ignition coil on the fifth cylinder. You should unscrew the bolt, remove it from its place and remove the ignition coil through the hole between the pipes of the intake manifold. Nothing to comment, you can just watch. As for the bolt securing ignition coil of the first cylinder, it is impossible to get it the same way. We have to unscrew it with a ratchet and an 8mm socket from the backside of the engine. It's even more convenient to do it with a gear wrench, with a built-in ratchet if you've got one. The ignition coil is removed uh, through the 
hole between the intake manifold pipes, the same as the coils of the third and fifth cylinders. Here you see I removed the bolt with fingers, you can also do it with a magnet, removed the ignition coil assisting with my left hand from behind the engine. Thankfully there is enough space between the intake manifold and the engine head to do it. After that we can go on to unscrewing spark plugs. The tools we need for that purpose are a 16mm socket, an extension and a universal joint. You should be very careful while inserting new plugs into their holes, so that not to spoil the threads, twice as careful because of the limited access to the cylinder head in our case. You see I am changing these spark plugs one by one, unscrewing them and showing you that it's possible to reach them through the holes. It goes without saying that you should do that on a cold engine, at least because your hands have to get in touch with the engine many times and you cannot put up with the heat for such a long time. Say nothing about all the manuals insisting on changing spark plugs on a cold engine so that not to spoil the thread. After replacing the spark plugs, I have to install the ignition coils. As you understand, the most tricky thing is installing the coil of the first cylinder, because there is no direct access to the bolt securing it. Still, it's possible, you see, and I managed to do it.
It took quite a lot of time to tighten the bolt and after I tightened it, it turned out that uh, the ignition coil squeezed the connector. So be careful and don't repeat my mistakes. As for the coils of the 3rd and 5th cylinders, it's much easier to install them, because at least you can reach them both from upper side and from behind the engine. After all the coils are secured on their places, we have to plug in the connectors, but believe me that it's the easiest thing you have to go through when changing spark plugs on the back three cylinders of the Jaguar X-Type engine. Long screwdrivers are our everything in this business.
So the job is completed. I start the engine to make sure that everything is installed properly. If you like this video, don't forget about donation link in description below and write in comments if you have noticed anything wrong in this video. Click like, subscribe to the channel and not to miss new videos and share this video to other Jaguar drivers, as usual.